so hi everyone uh, good morning uh, today i just wanted to talk about um, so yesterday um, you must have heard if you are in tech that um, microsoft uh, you know, systems broke down all over the world that caused a lot of issues everywhere and that reminded me that how fragile is our system even an update from a crowd strike, just a little update, start breaking the whole system all over the world, regardless of where you are. And it impacted comments, airports, emergency services, um, shares, whatnot, right? So to how to survive in such a fragile world? And so means whatever however robust our system can be i think we should make it that way so for that what i wanted to do was uh, i wanted to create uh, a health checkup bot system health checkup bot what it will do it will um, so the idea was uh, our system throws a lot of logs when I mean, I'm talking about system, I'm not only talking about service now, I'm talking about many other systems as well. And uh, so, but I will take an example of service now. In service now, we have different type of locks which are coming. And here specifically, I wanted to talk about the HTTP locks because um, integration failures are fairly common. Means like if you have... Uh, 20 or 100 of integration and service now has been built to uh, become an integration hub from different so, uh, so that it can automate different types of workflows and when it has all those things so it's very crucial to check that whether all the integrations are working fine or not and how and but it is not feasible to check logs every day. And sometimes there are some integrations which are very crucial, but they've been broken from past four to five days or even months. And yeah, uh, I'm, I'm talking about months and nobody is able to even, uh, nobody is even know about it. Yeah, obviously you can create a role-based system where if the integration is broken, then you can do something. But, but, uh, how many rules you will create now for that for this purpose only i wanted to create something which can summarize our data so whatever number of logs that is there just read through all the uh, logs so and i have explained all those uh, uh, like pointers over here so check all the http logs http logs provide a lot of information like status uh, endpoints uh, response header response so it, it's basically depends upon what level of log you have activated for each of your rest messages but um, even if it is basic it provides the uh, ample information to understand okay these this uh, means from the state it is, it itself you can identify what can be the issue so check the state blog and then aggregate the data aggregation is very important because uh, you may get like thousands or hundreds of thousands of log in a day and if uh, um, there are certain uh, URL which are benign, if it even if it is broken, um, then uh, we may not have to worry about it, and you don't have to means make your system go through each of these logs. Uh, what if like fifty thousand of them are only related to one, and once it is gone, just make it like go away. So we don't have to iterate over all the information, right? So aggregation of the data, then generate a comprehensive summary of the error logs and API performance. Now, not only the logs which can create an issue. Even if you are getting 200 status and we can just pass through it, but, uh, and so yeah, everything is okay. But there are certain indicators like your APIs are taking a lot of time. It means the response time for each API is huge. Now, if that happens, then uh, uh, 
so that creates so if you have an automation which is supposed to run in a particular amount of time uh, they they may get delayed or it can have a ripple effect that uh, it is taking more time over here and that has created uh, issues in other api which uh, which is being called uh, later on uh, so the response is not coming within within a particular time which is creating an issue and those type of issues are really hard to pinpoint because you are getting you are not getting any error in your api so now when if if there is a system uh, which understand these nuances you can understand how easy it is to uh, get that system and last is daily submission the, to the so when i talk about daily submissions a daily notification to the system owner and here you can see uh the architecture that i built um it's pretty simple architecture and yeah i would say this is uh, something that can be an a starting point this is not an re a ready architecture i won't say that a production ready why first thing if you have hundred thousand hundreds of thousands of logs and you send it. So here you will notice I'm not using local uh, LLM and I will tell you wh wh what was the reason behind that. So first thing is uh, if you have 100,000 uh, logs, even if you're doing aggregation and you are asking OpenAI to create an embedding and then you can uh, create like run a report, there, this will cost you a lot because uh, um, the amount of data that you have and that you want to uh, convert into uh, embeddings and then uh, chat. So that is huge. And that is the reason it is not recommended. To, uh, to directly put the whole data, uh, if you have huge amount of data, send it to OpenAI. Now, the question is why I'm not using a local LLM uh, because local LLMs can be free. I've already showed it can work very well. But the reason is what I'm doing over here is upgrading a bot. Now, what bot means is uh, so it will not only send the data and ask it to summarize, uh, but uh, what it will do is uh, first thing the architecture itself it will need a lot amount of gpu more than what i already have uh, to convert the whole uh, document into um, embeddings second thing it requires function calling so one what i mean by function calling is basically it needs to understand that what it is summarizing makes sense or not right so and to do those things, OpenAI has the best architecture to do that. That is why I wanted to use OpenAI for this, but there are many ways to do this in uh, uh, using local LLMs. And in other videos, uh, I'm going to explore that like, uh, I can give you an example. So we can, so instead of doing aggregation and all those information directly in OpenAI, we can uh, do uh, a pre-processing of the data so that only relevant information which we need, uh, relevant information as in like uh, if there are uh, certain rules that we can apply that okay 200 status this minimum response we don't have to worry about it remove everything that is related to that so if we can decrease means um, create a subset of data that we have and then use local LLMs on that uh, to create an embedding uh, and then find that okay uh, only these information are relevant and then only send very limited amount of information to open ai to create uh, that particle executive summary out of it so the, uh, the so there are three steps that i told 
And once we do that, so this can be one way to do that. But today I'm just going to show this architecture. And uh, okay, so now without moving. So for this, what I have already done is um, I have, so as you can see over here, uh, the architecture involves uh, multiple things. First, uh, there's a Python script, uh, which is still, so it's a simple script and there is nothing over here. It's just, uh, you just run it to get the data and store it in our system via a scripted REST API or table API. I use table API uh, because it is easier and already done. So I just stored it in one our, uh, in our system. So if I will go and check here, uh, you can see where it is, desktop. Okay, I will show it over here. Yeah, so I have, um, yeah, so data and this data has all the information in a, uh, uh, so HTTP outbound logs in a PDF format. I wanted to keep it in a PDF format because then uh, in, normally this is how we get different type of log documents. Now it can be, so you can see there are 385 pages. And uh, uh, if I'll go to, so sister, so this is uh, the, uh, script that I have used for uh, system health. Uh, uh, so I'm using Llama index, as you can see, using OpenAI uh, for the architecture. And uh, this one has a uh, few things. Uh, I will explain a little bit. Uh, so one is I want to create a summary of the document. Now to create a summary of the document and then store it in the um, in the vector database so what i'm doing over here is so i will explain uh, one by one so i'm creating a storage context now a storage context uh, so first i'm getting the document document is nothing but uh, all the information that is present in this http log so that document then i'm storing that document in nodes so when we are creating a vector database. So everything is stored in nodes. So here you can see, um, it just stores that data changes into um, like, so these are uh, libraries that are used by, I means that are encapsulated in Llama index, okay? And so they are converting that uh, vec uh, data into vector and storing that vector into nodes format and that is called the storage context now once we have the storage context and where the storage is the storage is in the ram so everything is stored in ram and once we have that what i want to do i want to create a summary of it now to create a summary i can do the vector index as well a uh, vector index uh, so there are two indexes that you can see over here and two type of summary query engine and vector query engine. Vector query and vector uh, index is, um, uh, so this library is better if you are creating uh, uh, what, uh, if you want to talk to your data, right? So if you have that, uh, that document and you want to see that, okay, you want to talk to uh, it multiple times that and to understand, okay, what is going on? Uh, why are this many errors? Uh, can you uh, uh, like uh, provide more uh, about these errors and all those things? Then, uh, then vector index, but I don't want to do, do that because daily nobody is going to ch chat with those things. So what I wanted is to just give a summary and then system and use it because um, by default, only basic level of logs are available. So, uh, normally a uh, normal summary would be enough then a uh, system admin can go and do more robust uh, uh, diagnostics okay so uh, second thing is summary tool so summary tool is what is important for us and as you can see i've provided the description related to summary tool that useful for summarizing http logs you can put direct logs or something whatever you want to understand the system and you provide uh, or detail-oriented reports, all those things, okay? And then uh, agent. 
So you are amazing system analysts who take care of system health by checking, aggregating, and analyzing logs, providing summary uh, daily related to instance health. Okay, so this is very important because this is the instruction that you are giving to OpenAI that how to summarize the data. Okay, so this is the system uh, prompt for the open AI and however you will write over here that so this agent this is how it will behave if you'll say um, you are a pirate it will act like a pirate and uh, I'm not sure exactly what it will give as an example if you'll provide this uh, data but it will act like a pirate now uh, here I have only created so this is all flask architecture so what i wanted was uh, i wanted to create an api where uh, you can directly hit that api on a local host and then uh, talk to the uh, means to, uh, to get the summary and uh, to get the summary i've just simply used a very simple can you create an executive summary of the http logs in the last 24 hours and let me just save it and uh, okay so it's restarting just a second so what it will do so it has sent that data to that uh, record um so you can see so it uh, so this was the query um, can you create an executive on your street logs in the last 24 hours? Then uh, input um, calling function summary tool because it has related to summary. Get output. Uh, the HTTP log from the last 24 indicates that there are multiple instances of connection refused error encountered while I'm attempting to. Uh, just give me a second. Yeah. Um, okay. So the executed okay so this was it is talking internally as i said um so it's a not an api call it's an agent okay so and now this is the final summary that is provided let's just go through it a little bit uh okay so this is the executive summary um the executive summary from last 24 reveals several significant points. Multiple instances of connection refused errors occurred while attempting to access Glide service. Okay. These connection issues were not isolated incidents. They were noted across different times and pages. There are also repeated failures in making post request connection refused error or with the state of minus one. Response time um, for the problematic post requests were in range of indicating a, a substantial delay. So this is what I talked about. Uh, OpenAI understands what are the best practices. So it has been, um, so this OpenAI LLM, uh, means ChatGPT basically, uh, understands the common benchmark of, and that is why it is able to relate that this is a significant delay. Full basic code identify as system administrator. So it was able to understand, okay, this was the user which is initiating those requests. Investigate uh, the endpoint and uh, determine the cause of uh, failure. Uh, review the system permission and network access to ensure. Examine overall network health logs, cross reference if necessary is great. So this is pretty good. And Glide service, uh, so it was able to understand which. Uh, type of endpoint was throwing errors and what was the user and provided a, uh, not very specific but a little bit generic um the steps for the remediations so that's why i said that it is not uh, uh like final product but it can be a uh, initial product you have to build on it definitely uh to make it work but uh, as you can see uh so it provides the data and then you will get the summary so again so if you're doing it from service now you are directly hitting um this 5000 port getting the information in your system so script action or daily schedule job can get that information and then trigger the notification on the base of that so it's a very very similar very simple um architecture but um, I would say I think it is a very good start because uh, monitoring of your system is very important. So 
thank you thank you all um, i hope this was beneficial